It's World Population Day today, and it seeks to draw attention to issues related to a growing global population. According to the United States Census Bureau, the world's population as of June 2019 is over 7.5 billion people. This year, the theme for the World Population Day 2020 is to raise awareness about safeguarding sexual and reproductive health needs and vulnerabilities of women and girls during the COVID-19 pandemic. Joining us now is Ula Elizabeth Mueller, resident representative, United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA Nigeria. Thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, quickly, uh, the theme for this year, how relevant is it? Because as a journalist during this pandemic, I have noticed increasing report of a spike in gender violence and other vulnerabilities faced by women and girls. Hmm. I think it is more relevant than ever. What we know during the COVID-19 pandemic is that there has been, as you rightfully say, a very, it's been spiking, the increase of has been big on gender-based violence. And in Nigeria alone, we expect that to lead to a, a reversal of progress retrieved and slowdown of progress with about 50% in order to ensure um, ending gender-based violence. So our work really is centered to working on leaving no uh, one behind. And uh, I think at this point, the most vulnerable are women and girls. And when we see a spike in gender-based violence, I think the call for action that UNFPA raises and stresses with the um, State of the World Population Report this year is more relevant than ever. We need to safeguard women and girls and we need to ensure that we end gender-based violence. What is the UNFPA doing um, in that regard now? Well, as I said, we are really working on, on leaving no, no one behind and we are very active um, in working with the government. So we actually have done quite a few things. Um, and the first thing we did as a UN as a whole in Nigeria was that we actually established a COVID-19 offer and went to the government and spoke to them about how we can support um, in the implementation of their COVID-19 plan. And then we advocated effectively, and I'm glad to say successfully, that addressing gender-based violence and access to sexual reproductive health services was fully included in the response plan. The presidential task force was open to our advocacy and made sure that it was fully integrated. So we also looked into, I just want to put that into saying, and looking at how do we then reprogram because the first thing that happened when, when COVID happened was everyone thought, well, then we can do nothing. But actually what we can do was thinking through what the things we cannot do, we can reverse that and reprogram that into providing uh, personal protective equipment for healthcare workers and into community uh, behavior change and risk communication in society. Over. All right, um, let's talk a bit about censors. Headcounts are contentious issues globally, but with the support of agencies such as UNFPA, rewards often outshine the risk. Just how robust is the support your agency provides to population and census authorities in Nigeria? So globally, UNFPA support to countries for censuses, including in Nigeria, is very robust. This is at the core of what we do, and our expertise in that is, I would say, second to none. We provide technical and financial support, and it's robust. And we also support countries to strengthen their capacity, both institutional and, and human capacity, for the various stages and components of, of a census, including budgeting, developing of a census strategic plan, demarcation um, of enumeration, procurement of equipment, questionnaire development, data analysis, report writing, dissemination, and of course the use as well as post in enumeration uh, surveys. So we have a very robust support to that globally and also here a preparedness to do that here in Nigeria. All right, if conducting census during COVID-19 becomes a reality, would the UNFPA and other partners consider assisting with guidelines, say, uh, for instance, similar to the one from the NCDC on how to conduct elections during COVID-19? 
Absolutely. So we, we UNFPA would support um, the NPC to implement an inclusive and innovative and acceptable ways to conduct censuses in humanitarian settings also. And we would work very closely with NCDC and WHO to ensure that we did have a protocol and guidelines in place to make sure we could safely uh, carry through a census. And that would also um, include technical support to uh, virtual and digital solutions to the extent that was necessary. All right, thank you very much, uh, Ulla Elisabeth Müller, for your time with us on the news. You're most welcome. Thank you very much for having me and happy Population Day.